Okay. One's still alive. Pretty sure you just lost that fight, buddy. So Salim and Jason are still alive. Confront. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. All this shit, it's on you. If you people hadn't ambushed us, none of this would have happened. I don't mean you any harm. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. Honestly, I'm just glad to see a human face. Me too. We could be allies if uh We must fight as one. Your friend said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That is not always true, but if we both want to live, we must fight as one. Agreed. A sword and a shift. You're too worried for my liking. <laughs> but? But I'm in. Yes! Good, because I like Salim. Regroup with allied forces, stay alert for danger. So that suggests Wait for one second you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. The following second you're dead. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jar head? <laughs> now that suggests that there's still more people alive. I wonder who's still left. That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate. The other can slip through. Go. Don't betray. Are you okay? What do you think? Yeah, he's trapped. <clears throat> I gotta find another way around. Crap! This is going from bad to worse. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. That's not big enough for me to crawl through. What we're dealing with. Uh. Vampires? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me. That's pretty funny. Vampires, we must work together to defeat them. Yeah, I'm getting to look like that. Come on, Salim. I'm not trying to die here, buddy. Hold, uh, hold it, Salim. Okay. I like Salim even more now. Thanks. <laughs> Knowledgeable. First thing you're gonna do when we get out of here. Hold my son. Drink some beer. <laughs> oh god. What are we gonna find now? Oh, it's just one of those tablets. Never mind. I thought it was one of those premonition ones. But this one. Nope, it's just a piece of paper. 
Never mind. <clears throat> Dead. I sat with her in her final moments, telling her how sorry I was. Hell, forsaken place. For placing my vanity above our love. When, uh, blank. The end of everything, I knew she, blank, blank. She made me swear to bury this place. Wait, hold on. I, I probably should have looked at the back. Time out, hold on. Give me one second. You got your head screwed on. <clears throat> so I gotta ask. 9 p.m. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It lived to me. And only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. Well, that was interesting. Anything else? Nick. I like him. Me too. He was good to me. Circumstance. Any other day, he'd put one between your eyes. Yeah, you don't know that. All right, let's go. <clears throat> what is the meaning of those markings on your hand? To honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. I have no grievance with you. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. <laughs> Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. <laughs> That was a weird story to tell. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on. Look at the muscles on this man! Oh! Please don't die! Oh god! Holy crap! Bro, that was close! <laughs> Trust him now? See we get the fuck out of here. I second that. Oh, I'm, uh, Salim. I thought I was gonna be, uh... Jason for a second. It's way too quiet.
What is that? Looks to me like a medical bay. Why are the lights on? This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60 year old explosive in your bag, be my guest. <laughs> He's like, oh well. Uh, there's actually a ton of stuff that I could look at, like this right here. Okay, that's the snake thing. Autopsy notes: specimen contains an inordinate amount of blood in his stomach. Analysis of the blood sample shows high density of adrenaline. Does the organism feed on fear? Instills fear on its victims. Gets adrenaline pumping attacks. So staying calm is a potential solution to not getting killed by them? Is that what I'm gathering here? Alright, Mary. <clears throat> 1930. Temp and pulse, dangerously high, over 101. Uh, subject mostly conscious, occasionally wakes and screams, sweating, sickness continues, saline supply low. Uh, detected movement under the skin of the abdomen, uh, abdomen, abdom uh, the stomach, around the location of the adrenal glands. R suggests exploratory surgery, but I fear M might not survive the operation. 2010 temp, uh, okay. That's interesting. Do you want to hear a joke? Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's funny. The camp is in uproar. Workers are missing and Lady Bradshaw blank. Uh, but I guess, but I can guess. She yearns for the same fate that blank. She wants to be blank. 1st of January, 1947. 1 a.m. The saboteur has struck again, sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. All around us, they shriek from the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. Mary was right. We cannot fight that which does not live. There is only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. Even if it means bringing it down on our own heads. They cannot be allowed out of here. Something tells me that didn't happen. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Come on, Salim. There's still one more cell that I needed to see. Oh, that's the exit, actually. Explorers got there first. Hey, hold up, will you? What are you doing? Leaving a note for my friend. You think they're still alive? Friends. Right, Hope is all we got left. <laughs> oh, ain't that the damn truth? I think Dar's pretty. I'm pretty confident Dar's dead. Probably Eric too. I think Nick is still alive because the last time I remember is he just got thrown against the wall, but he never, I don't think it ever showed that he died. So, uh, underwater spring sounds like. Waterfall. Never knew Dar was married. It's funny how you can know someone for years and never really know them. I have no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? He didn't make it. Or 
worse for me. <laughs> that guy to deal with. A time will come when you will deeply regret this manner. I don't carry regrets. Could have just he could have kept it and gave it to his wife. <clears throat> What is that light? This place is jack in the box. Sounds good, doesn't it? <coughs> is that a tree? What is that? What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. <laughs> I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists. <laughs> they are not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fire it up. You crazy? We don't. I don't think we have a choice at this point. Anywhere down there. You really want to fight them and their own home? What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. What are we going to find down there? I don't know if I don't I don't want to know. Oh snap. That does not look safe either. At least we made it down before the vampires got to us. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? As one returns to the light, while the other goes out forever. So we got one dead. Bad luck. But then again, Eric cheated death once before back on that highway perhaps death finally caught up let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen sergeant k those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale as for jason and salim sworn enemies Cannot seem to bury the hatchet unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it. Ah, Camp Slayer, three weeks previous. Okay. <clears throat> Again? Jesus, Eric, it's only time. This is me. This is my way of dealing with it, and I'm done trying to explain it to you. Yes, yes, this is my life now, and I'll live it on my terms. Wait, what, what did you just say? Oh, bad time? Yeah, it's a real fucking bad time. I'm just dropping off the files you requested. Not now. I said not now. Oh, 
I didn't mean to upset you. I'm assuming this is how it all got started between them two? Seems like out here we're, we're all running away from something. I know I am. You were caught up in that mess at the checkpoint. You shot that woman. It's okay. You can talk to me. It's just... Everyone seems to have an opinion on it. I'm dealing with it... In my own way. Are you? You got your own problems. And whoever that was, that sounded like a gold medal asshole. Whatever it is, you'll deal with it. Just say the word, and I'll handle it for you. Sounds like he's just taking advantage of a bad situation. <clears throat> Sacrificial chamber. So I think it was confirmed. I think Eric is dead. I'm not gonna lie, he was kind of not a very good leader, but that doesn't mean he deserves death. I thought I'd lost you. Whoa. Well, now she doesn't have a husband. It's technically not cheating anymore, I guess. <clears throat> oh, God. Well, that's not good. This dude just jumped all the stairs. Shut it. Oh my god, that might be too late. Oh, snap. We have nowhere to go. Oh, we're playing hide and seek now. Oh, crap, not this again. Come on. You know it's gonna happen again. You don't see nothing. Is he gone? 
Is he leaving? Those are stressful. <clears throat> that was too close back there. Just a tad bit. We're still breathing. It's not all them still up. All that matters is you're okay. Do we need to talk? About what? About us. I need to know what's happening with us. If I die tonight, I want to die knowing where I stand with you. We have a future together. Eric was a good man. But he's gone. Rachel. Do you, do you love me? Do you love me? My Marine has a heart. I like that. Answer me. I do. I do love you. I can't lose you. Not now. Not ever. I mean that's a good that's good. But it's Jason. He's alive. <clears throat> I just don't like the circumstances of how the relationship started. Let's go find Jason. It started off tainted in my opinion. On her end specifically him too cuz he knew that she was married. So it's that relationship is not healthy already in my opinion. But if they can make it work, they can make it work, so no judgment, you know, but they have an uphill battle, I think. Wish them the best. I mean, there's nothing in between them now that her husband's dead. Do you like to wait for them, or don't need to be a smart ass? Move. Explore the unknown. Stay alert for danger. What is this? Okay. Didn't tell me anything. I don't see a thing. I take it back. I see a thing. Randolph Hodgson. Okay. <clears throat> All the pages are ripped out. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, there's more stuff all over the place, actually. He is beautiful. Handsome young fellow. Ooh, can I keep this? I like it. Oh, who is this? Oh, is that the girl that changed? In the story? When the temple fell, when this temple fell, my wife and I will be blank. I owe her that, at least. The portrait that I carry in my watch, uh, in my watch case is Mary. Yeah, it is. That I remember, not that blank. <clears throat> this was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. 
She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release. Well, <laughs> man, are they really vampires, though? What did we find? In Wakanda. Yeah, we'll what is this place? <clears throat> what the fuck is this place? Are they aliens? I'm so confused. I don't know what they are. What is this film? Is this even real? We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zayn is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I did. Single parent. I can relate. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. Stop it's probably just him rebelling. I miss him so much. <laughs> Is your conscience clear, Jason? The checkpoint. Green zone. Checkpoint. He's finally opening up. Checkpoint. <clears throat> Nick and I, we were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. There was a woman. She was carrying a bag. I ordered for her to stop loud and clear, but she didn't. She just kept on walking. I, uh, I had to make a call. Nick, he shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. God, I had a feeling it was groceries. I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. God. What an unfortunate situation. This is bullshit. I'm not here to honor the dead. Truth is. 
My life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? No towers were hit. I was stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even Damn. know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her. We snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? That sucks, man. I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. What do you have in mind? We go inside there and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things try to fuck with our heads. They try to kill us. You and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here and see the sun again. And you're gonna see your son again. That's what you truly believe? Hoorah! What on earth is that sound? <laughs> oh, does that make you dream too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Huh? <laughs> They're starting to get a good relationship going. Whatever happens out there, I've got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way. All right, I'm digging that. Let's go, Salim. Me and you.